Welcome to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia for the world's richest horse race, the Saudi Cup. With a prize purse of 20 million US dollars, the Saudi Cup has become one of the most sought after titles in racing since making its debut in 2020. Anticipation was high as the horses entered the arena at the King Abdelaziz racetrack. Number eight, Nix Go, was on a four-race win streak and tipped as second favorite for the $10 million winning prize. 21-year-old David Egan was riding number 11 and third favorite, Mishrif, who secured second place in the Saudi Derby last year. Owned by Prince Faisal, a victory on home soil would prove very popular. The favourite, however, was number three, Charlatan. Ridden by Mike Smith, the Bob Baffert-trained horse had impressed onlookers whilst preparing for the race at Santa Anita Park in California. The American team had high hopes for their new star. As the horses and jockeys gathered in the starting gate, the scene was set for the 1800-metre flat race. They are in the gates and they're off in the Saudi Cup and Nix Go goes straight toward the front. Nix Go showing speed and Charlatan is right with him and Military Law is there and Mishrif on the outside up the chute in the Saudi Cup and Charlatan's going to be the leader. Charlatan from that outside post has come on to take over the lead from Nix Go who backs off into second so Charlatan takes the race to Nix Go right off the mark. Nix Go back into second. Mishrif toward the inside is racing in third. Extra elusive moving up into fourth right there to Military Law in fifth. Tacitus is not far behind. Tacitus is racing in sixth. Simsir is now seventh. Great Scott moving up on the inside from eighth. Global Giant is now ninth. The Reef was in tenth. Bangkok is eleventh. Sleepy Eyes Todd is in twelfth. Japan's Chua Wizard is second to last. Nine lengths off the lead as they move into the far turn. Max Player is the trailer. Nix Go comes on through to take the lead. Charlatan sticks right with him. And the race is on round the far turn in the Saudi Cup. Charlatan on the outside of Nix Go. Nix Go grinding it out. Charlatan right there too. Mishrif under pressure back in third. Tacitus is asked to go now. Great Scott angles to the outside for the final quarter mile. They're coming for the top of the stretch. Charlatan has shrugged off the challenge of Nix Go. Charlatan turning for home in front. Mishrif is now the challenger. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Charlatan digging down deep on the lead. Mishrif desperately trying to get by. Nix goes, been defeated. Great Scott and Tacitus coming down to the final 100 meters. Charlatan has to fend off the oncoming Mishrif. Mishrif is roused to the lead. Charlatan tries to fight back, is doing so. Mishrif, Charlatan. Mishrif conquers the cup. An upset winner, defeating Charlatan. Great Scott. Nix goes, settles for fourth. Sleep as Todd was fifth, it's Mishrif in Saudi. The 2021 Saudi Cup certainly proved to be an enthralling race, with Charlatan holding off Nick's go, only to be out sprinted by Mishrif in the final 100 metres. Nick's go faded to fourth place with local horse Great Scott taking third. Ridden by David Egan, trained by John Gosden, Mishrif won the battle between Britain and the USA to claim the 10 million US dollar prize. The Irish jockey, born in Kildare, rode a superbly paced race and was delighted to come away with the win. David, congratulations, you've just won the world's richest race. How are you feeling? Oh, I can't believe it. It was Mishrif that won. He's an absolute champion. It's just a privilege to be connected with such a class horse and just like to thank Prince Faisal, Mr. Gosden, all his team back home in Newmarket. Just everyone in connections with this horse has done a great job and uh, just delighted to get back aboard on the big day. Following in the footsteps of his father, John, who is still racing aged 52, Egan ensured that the family name will continue to be on the back pages. A win for the Saudi-owned Mishrif definitely went down well with the local fans. 
All that remained was for the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to award the winners with their golden trophies. And that brought to a close the world's richest horse race for another year. One that will live long in the memory here in Saudi Arabia.